What I'm most inspired to make in this moment is, for example, when failing and succeeding in communicating, getting the results you want in, in life and in relationships and communication, or not. When you get the results you want, everything works out reasonably close. You basically get your way. <clears throat> if Just two ways of getting your way. <clears throat> you can get your way, and as in your way of peace, happiness, harmony, and a loving connection between two people. You and your partner, you and your mother, you and your, your, your son or your daughter, you or your loved one, you or your, another person, your boss, your colleague, your employee, or a stranger. Obviously, presumably, especially if you're watching this video, you're living more from your heart more from your true being of inner light. So you don't want a punch up, you don't want crying, like you don't want sadness and crying, you don't want anger, ideally. Not that it's bad and not that it's shamed or weak or anything like that, it's, it serves its purpose, emotions do. They help us to wake up to something that needs to be looked at and healed and understood better and accepted within ourselves, just something to improve, some clarity, something we may have been avoiding or missing or bad in our life, to talk simply and plainly. So the first way of succeeding is to have a connection where you get on well with someone, they feel safe, you feel safe, you both show and feel respected and understood, etc. This is winning. So. I said in, an, in a, I said in a post lately on Facebook, would you rather win and lose or something like that? Would you rather be, be right and lose or would you rather be wrong and win? And this is what I'm talking about, the deeper winning or losing. It's that connection and the emotional factor of the circumstance, of the interaction with somebody. So to have a positive result at least, a positive end, or and as positive as possible emotionally wise, the feel good factor, the love and the care and the respect, the gentleness. The way for example you might speak to your son or your daughter or your mother or father who you have deepest love for and care and respect for, your child who's in pain. This is how we want to talk to other people really. We want to remember that, remember that part of this video and the other stuff, but remember that, that idea. So when we're being harsh, belligerent, frustrated, agitated, and they're okay, but we can continue them if we're unconscious and lost in being right and, and away from caring deeply about their happiness or sadness. And when we look at someone in a conversation and we see that what we're saying is having an effect and impact of sadness or stress on them, we're losing. We are not, they're losing obviously and we're losing, but we aren't succeeding. <clears throat> this isn't a good result for us. We are failing in a way. We're failing at our primary goal, my primary goal, at to feel a sense of love and camaraderie, care, understanding and respect, deeper, a deeper level of the surface conversation of what we're talking about, which can be very important too. So that's the second success, but I'll get to that in a moment. I'm just talking about the first success now. So look when you're speaking with somebody. Now I know a lot of people get arguments and sometimes I do this in my coaching with people, my coaching sessions, my life coaching, okay, of body, mind and spirit. And even in my own life, I'm talking to you through my own failures, my own, <laughs> I won't say constant or consistent, but regular failings. And eventually I learned. <laughs> and it was hard. <laughs> even though I knew lots of stuff and I thought I knew lots of stuff and I did, and, but it just wasn't enough to solve the riddle, to put the key in the, in the keyhole and open the door. You see? There's a, a way to success and there's a way, many ways, not to success. So I'm showing you now 
the way to primary success and it's all about your heart but it's also about your mind because it's about knowing things and understanding the other person and their needs and understanding your own needs and instead of trying to force your need at the expense of their need you know for example with 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 me and my partner she might need to be on her own and in quietness more i might need to be with people and socialize more but i don't want to try let's say for example nag her or force her or give out to her or make her feel small because she does she mightn't want to come out at a particular time occasion so i'm trying to get my need to socialize now bear in mind my need to socialize doesn't have a specific mean i need to socialize with you now today with these people that's a specific thing but my need is to socialize more than her just my need is to socialize like a certain degree of the time this is a part of my life to spend time with people, friends and family. And this is her need too. This is everyone's need, I think. But it's all about the degree. So you don't want to, to you don't want to lose, you want everyone's need. That's the part of it. That's the negotiating. That's the part of your throat chakra and communicating. That's the skill. That's the beautifulness, the beauty, the alchemy, the, the cleverness, the wisdom of joining heart and wisdom, heart and communication and practicing your speech and your listening too. It's tricky. It can be tricky, obviously, because otherwise we'd know that and there wouldn't be so many arguments and disconnection and fighting and discord with people. So try win and part of winning is also to monitor how the other person is reacting and feeling and looking in the face, how they're speaking and you can also feel if they're their level of stress. So change, adapt by the moment. Think about how you're speaking and what you're saying and how much your heart is open for their, tend their tenderness of well-being. Another thing to remember is to focus on their happiness. Think about you bringing happiness to people, especially your loved ones. That's like generally a bit easier, but it's going to be harder sometimes. But even anyone, try not to be, you know, Look and monitor if you're bringing sadness and stress to them or happiness and well-being. And it changed by the second, the moment. So ask them a question like, or say something. Be imaginative and creative. Read the situation. Ask yourself questions if you're being selfish or bad. And, or are you making being right more important than having this primary first success? Because at the end of the day, if you, monitor, if you manage this first success, you're way more likely to get what you want and your needs and they're way more likely to get their wants and needs as well with love and respect without the drama and fighting and hardship of it all the hurt the pain to hurt the pain and the stress so obviously we want that do you want to live a life of stress sadness and crying and misery and fighting with people which is serious like horrible thing it doesn't feel good at all of course you don't do you want to go through the, the difficulty and complications of breaking up with people you love or did love once upon a time before you both failed at this number one? Which is not trying to say it's a judgement or in any mean way, but just trying to say like you didn't succeed in it, so to speak, and I do this as well. So I don't mean that as a judgement, I just mean it more like a descriptive word. You haven't basically learned the key that fits in the lock that gets you the results. So that's what this video is about. That's why I chose this video over the second video because this was more to my heart and more inspired and more important. <laughs> but I might make that other video after this video. But anyway, that's not really the point of this video even, to talk about my videos. But it's fun to talk about yourself. It's okay, you know. You don't need to be hung up or stressed about that either. Just have fun, you know. It's all about meaning and fun. Uh, happiness and service. So that type of thing, if, if, if you're at that point in life. Um, but to get to the point of more service in life, you need to be feeling weller about yourself. Otherwise, your primary need would really be to look after yourself instead of trying to look after others. Like the world, like doing big things or like being of service and help and everything. Even your job is a service anyway, don't forget. 
But if you're stressed, it's hard to be of service to others. You're too preoccupied. If you're going through a relationship breakup, it's hard to be thinking about like, oh, helping other people so much. That's that's why this is so important, you know. So <sighs> did I explain that well? You know, even my own sort of success could in this video could be described by my ability to communicate and explain and to put across points in a, in a way that's understandable and pr practically practically applicable to be understood by you, the watcher, you, you know. And that's when we're communicating with people also. We have to think about, are we, are we succeeding in the languages, the words that we're using? Are they friendly or are they more hostile? Are they confusing or clear? Are they hostile in like kind of judging or putting down or belittling someone like they just didn't understand me, you just didn't, you just can't get it. You know, that type of talk or that sort of derogatory. So that's why we have to question ourselves and look at ourselves. Be concerned with changing yourself, not the other person. Changing is easy to blame or point a finger or to call the other person wrong, to feel better or good about yourself. The hard thing is to look at yourself, your weaknesses, flaws or failings, and then to change yourself. But that's mastery, that's the beauty of self-sculpture, the, the joy of life, creating yourself who you want to be next, the higher, better, more expanded, beautifully chiseled, gorgeous sculpture of yourself. And that's why I say also, life isn't an experience of discovery of who you are or even remembrance of who you are really, it's, it's very purely, primarily an experience of creation of who you are, moment by moment, and every second can be totally different than the last, and is totally different, but can be vastly different. Because every moment, no matter what happened in the past, is a total new slate to begin again new, and to be different than, than how you were before. And this is liberating because no matter what you did in the past, how bad, wrong or crazy you were, you now are an alchemist forging the blade in the fire stone, the red hot lava coals of heat. You are forging yourself to be the vision of who you, have, who you want to be, the vision you have for yourself. You are forging that by the, by the moment. So ask yourself in any moment, any day. Is who I am being now the announcement I want to make of who I am to the world? Is who and how I am being now the declaration that I want to send to the world of who I am? Every moment is a declaration of who you are. Every action is an announcement of who you are and who you want to be. So think about that in your relationships and in life and behaviour with people. Is this who you want to be when you look back at the end of your life? Is this who you want to say, yeah, that was, that was me, that's who I was? Maybe you were mean, because I've been mean, and I can feel the sadness of even just not even being mean, but even being mean or not being mean and making mistakes. The sadness of failing and then contributing to the sadness of another person, especially your loved, people, your loved closest people. So maybe you might feel the sadness of compassion for the hurts you've contributed to your loved ones and other people. Because you didn't know maybe what I just shared with you that I learned myself. And how when you decide to be a different person, you can be that person in this moment, a new moment, this new slate of the future. And and yeah, you can be that person. You can declare who you are differently than who you were yesterday. So, so there's always you create your reality. And that was my last video. You create your reality. How to be the 
divine creator of your life, how to manifest your dreams. So check out that link, put a link there. Um, but getting on to the second success, so that's the first primary big success, having that connection with another person and having that emotional feeling of brilliant beautifulness within you. Because you don't want to feel like you're stuck, like terrible. You want to feel great. And part of feeling great is having your heart fully open and alive and being fully tuned into the, the feelings and the needs of another person. And that's what's most alive and most important and pivotal in the moment. What you are feeling and your needs and what another person is feeling and their needs. Their, your emotions and your needs and their emotions and their needs. And the trick is to get everyone's needs met without the other person losing their needs, not at the expense. So the example area would be, I said I wouldn't drag Sally or, or like my partner or, or another person out just purely to get my needs and they lose their needs. But similarly, obviously my partner wouldn't say, hey, I'll stay in with me. Like, um, I don't feel like being social, so you stay in with me. But <laughs> now obviously if she needed some company, if she, if she was upset and really sad or something like that, then I'd prioritize her because my need is to look after my loved ones and especially in a time of need. So that's when that need would go over my need to be social. I can be social another day, really. So, so, so that is the second success, so to speak. And um, the first success is is the connection and the and the emotions of goodness in everybody. Um, the emotional wellness, and, uh, okay, of everybody, and the connection, the love, camaraderie, and the high vibrations. The second success is getting getting sort of getting what you want and everyone getting what they want it's like everyone getting their needs met it's the the superficial the observable the tangible the touchable outer success um yeah so so yeah i think that's kind of it like i've talked a lot so is that clear i hope it's clear and if you have any questions or comments just ask below and i'll try to get back to you well i always will get back to you so just i will get back to you comment or question below uh, if you have any video requests um just go below if you'd like one-to-one -one, um coaching with me go below ownfox.org if you want to have a look at my herbs and my herb website higher self herbs go below Go below anyway because I have like quite a number of different links for different things and you'd be surprised, some really awesome stuff. I won't talk about it for ages now because it makes the video too long and it can be like sound rambling but all I have to do is have a look at the description box below if you're interested. And then, um, yeah. this video started with such a, like, a jolly vibe but then I got serious, eh? <laughs> because it's a touching thing, it's a moving close thing to my heart. Mm -hmm. So. I'm gonna get jolly again now, if you know what I mean. It's like that's really serious, so you can't I don't know, I'm just serious. So it's such a serious topic to my heart. So I'm happy personally, I'm feeling happy and relieved to a degree for relief is the word, like content, relief, happy that I made that, because I think I did a good enough job, you know, of explaining it, and that makes me happy and content and feel relieved that I did it and it's finished. Just to just to you know, I usually People don't talk about their emotions in the in the um, videos, but part of the video, I suppose, is that I do want to share this aspect. And you know, this is how you can communicate with your loved one or person, your anybody um, who you're having a challenge with. And you can also let them know that you care for their feelings, and you can let them know, like I'm out for your needs. I don't want to have my need at your expense. You can say all of this stuff and help them to. You can help teach them what you've learned in this video um, and sometimes people need a break and they don't want to talk so you might just like need to take a break um, because don't forget you're going to fail at this by the way and that's okay because everything takes practice and um, you just get better and learn from your mistakes and maybe you need to be reminded about this so maybe you could watch this video again in a week or two um, another fantastic video is called Nonviolent communication workshop i'll put a link along here or here, whatever I feel like it.